C.O. Cannon here from Fiction Atlas Press, bringing you another Indie Connection. Today I'd like to tell you about some indie books that you might enjoy if you're a fan of Raising the Horseman by Serena Valentino. The first book I have for you is called The Secret of Sleepy Hollow by Andy Marquette. Tabitha Abbey Crane, a doctoral student working on her thesis, doesn't allow herself much time outside academia. Fortunately, she's managed to squeeze in a research trip over Halloween weekend to the Historical Society of Sleepy Hollow, New York, where she hopes to uncover new research on the notorious town's most infamous legend, that of the Headless Horseman. But she has a personal stake in this trip. Abby's own ancestor, Ichabod Crane, disappeared mysteriously over 200 years ago, perhaps at the hands of the ghostly horseman. Abby has no reason to expect anything of Sleepy Hollow beyond immersing herself in archival collections and enjoying its own Halloween festivities. But then she crosses paths with Katie, who makes her head spin and her heart pound. When Katie invites her on a nighttime visit to the glen where the horseman allegedly rides, Abby can't say no, upending her plans for a quiet research retreat. And when Abby and Katie, who has her own ties to the famous story, find what may be the key to the disappearance of Ichabod Crane all those years ago, love, legend, and magic intermingle, making clear that Sleepy Hollow has plans of its own for yet another Crane. The second book I have for you is called The Hollow by Jessica Verde. When Abby's best friend Kristen vanishes at the bridge near Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, Everyone else is all too quick to accept that Kristen is dead, and rumors fly that her death was no accident. Abby goes through the motions of mourning her best friend, but privately, she refuses to believe that Kristen is really gone. It only makes things worse that everyone now treats Abby like either a freak show or a charity case. Thank goodness for Caspian, the gorgeous and mysterious boy who shows up out of nowhere at Kristen's funeral and keeps reappearing in Abby's life. Caspian clearly has secrets of his own, but he's the only person who makes Abby feel normal again, but also special. Just when Abby starts to feel that she might survive all this, she learns a secret that makes her question everything she thought she knew about her best friend. How could Kristen have kept silent about so much? And could this secret have led to her death? As Abby struggles to understand Kristen's betrayal, she uncovers a frightening truth that nearly unravels her one that will challenge her emerging love for Caspian, as well as her own sanity. The third book I have for you is called Crane by Stacy Rourke. The horseman is unending. His presence shan't lessen. If you break the curse, you become the legend. Washington Irving and Rip Van Winkle had no choice but to cover up the deadly truth behind Ichabod Crane's disappearance. Centuries later, a crane returns to Sleepy Hollow, awakening macabre secrets once believed to be buried deep. What if the monster that spawned the legend lived within you? Now Ireland Crane, reeling from a breakup and seeking a fresh start, must rely on the newly awakened Rip Van Winkle to discover the key to channeling the darkness swirling within her. Bodies are piling high, and Ireland is the only one that can save Sleepy Hollow by embracing her own damning curse. But is anyone truly safe when the horseman rides? And the last book I have for you is called Sleepy Hollow, Rise Headless and Ride by Richard Gleaves. Jason Crane just turned 17 years old. He's a Star Wars fan and a history geek. He doesn't believe in ghosts or the afterlife. He doesn't believe in psychic powers or tarot cards. He doesn't believe in the Headless Horseman. But Sleepy Hollow will change all that because Jason Crane has a heritage to claim. Jason Crane has a gift to discover, and Jason Crane has an old enemy who will rise headless and ride. Okay, that's all for me this week. I'll see you next week on the Indie Connection. Bye!